Welcome back investors to Ticker Time News. I'm Adam and here's the latest segment from the After Hours Show. Let's go on to FedEx now. Ticker symbol FDX. Uh, they were up 4.95% to close out today and they're up a tenth of a percent in After Hours. Now, yesterday when we talked about their earnings, First, we looked at the decline that they were in, going back all the way to the 1st of June. Big decline, big de gap down from earnings last time around. But then it hit a bottom at the beginning of October, and it had a beautiful October rally like many companies did. And then it ran into trouble in November. But now, it may have its footing back to take this rally that it was in. And if I put a trend line there, look at this. This trend line right here. If I line this up right there, I need to adjust this just a little bit. Okay. So yesterday, it's gap up. Look at how high the candle wick went, almost to this trend line right here. So this is telling me that it's possible that FedEx could potentially be starting a new channel. This could very well be a new channel that FedEx is starting to uh, to move in. And if we mark the, the top of this one here, right there, can you see it now? See how it started this reversal back here at the beginning of October, had a nice October rally, pulled back in November, and then ran on this bottom trend line for its two lows here. And now it pushed up to the top of this trend line here in the middle. So it's possible that it's just going to extend and move within this channel. That's a possibility. And that's one that I'm watching here for FedEx to see if that does come to fruition here. I think there's a good chance that it could. Okay. Let's put a, uh, a vertical here for earnings, and then let's mark this one back here so we can see it a little clearer. All right, so there's FedEx on the chart. All right, let's talk about FedEx. So FedEx, ticker symbol FDX, is trucking higher today after shipping investors a solid Q2 earnings report as labor headwinds improved significantly in the quarter. Recall that in Q1, margins took a massive hit as FedEx struggled to find enough workers, causing labor costs to soar out of control. As a result, the transportation company missed earnings by its widest margin in five years. FedEx didn't ease investors' concerns going forward during its Q1 call, forecasting ongoing labor constraints in the near term and only a gradual improvement in adjusted operating margins starting in 2022. Now that FedEx has crushed Q2's adjusted EPS estimates while, while also making major strides in improving its labor availability and, as a result, its operating margins, investors are warming back up to the stock. Adjusted EPS was flat year over year, but since analysts had been expecting a significant decline, the result was more than enough to be FedEx's largest beat since last year. Revenue also came in ahead of estimates, a nice change from the nearly in-line revenue FedEx posted in the previous quarter. Multiple factors went into the strong quarter. 
One was improving labor availability. FedEx hired over 60,000 frontline workers since its Q1 earnings call in late September, which helped immensely with unprecedented shipping levels in this quarter. The company expects to retain these workers even after the peak holiday season. FedEx also noted that it had over 111,000 applications just last week, more than double what it saw in early May. Another factor that was favorable was the pricing environment. The numerous logistics companies expressing difficulty securing enough workers to keep up with high demand levels, FedEx is in an excellent position to maintain a brisk pace for repricing contracts to ensure enough surcharge capture. This helped lead to robust adjusted operating income growth of 12.7% sequentially to $1.68 billion, easily outpacing FedEx prior guidance on flat sequential growth. As a result, adjusted operating margins came in at a decent 7.1%, a nice improvement from 6.8% in Q1. Since FedEx expected only a gradual improvement in margins starting in 2022, the 30 point basis move represents improving conditions, which the company needed to show in Q2 to turn the stock around. Although headwinds have eased some for FedEx, FedEx is still dealing with significant challenges that carry over from Q1. For example, although labor availability improved, Q2 profitability was dampened by about $770 million due to ongoing staffing challenges. FedEx expects labor headwinds to persist in Q3. In addition, as COVID-19 continues to linger, FedEx doesn't expect air cargo capability or its capacity to fully recover until 2024. Nevertheless, FedEx's move to increase its fiscal year 22 adjusted EPS guidance, even if only by the size of its Q2 earnings beat, shows that conditions did not worsen. In fact, conditions in certain parts of the world have greatly improved. Import demand in Europe and APAC have made a full recovery to pre-pandemic levels. Also, demand out of Asia is continuing to be a solid contributor to FedEx's revenue growth. Bottom line, things are looking up, which bodes well for the United Parcel Service, or UPS, which reports Q4 earnings on, fe on February the 1st. So what do you think about FedEx's improving labor market? Do you think this will have a big enough impact on the company to turn it around and maybe pick up the slack where others cannot? It's a good question to ask. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching this segment from the After Hours Show. If you want to watch it live, then join me on this channel every day the market is open around 5 p.m. for the latest stock market news, deep dives on your favorite ticker symbols, and most importantly, answer your questions. Make sure to click the like button and share this video with others so we can all reach financial freedom. Thank you so very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.